Bible lessons like Naaman, Lazarus, Blind Bartimaeus, and many others can show kids God's love and power are greater than pain and suffering. When you teach lessons like these in Sunday school or children's church, you can use band-aids to review and reinforce them with the kids in your classroom. I'm Nathan with Kids Enjoying Jesus, and I want to show you how to use band-aids to create five quick and easy Bible games for kids. Number one, band-aid review. Tell the kids you're giving them a checkup to see how well they listened during the lesson. Just write words related to the lesson on band-aids and have them take turns flipping them over and sharing what they've learned about the word or person on the other side of that band-aid. For instance, if your lesson is about blind Bartimaeus, write things like blind man, Jesus, crowd, beggar, son of David, and mercy on the backs of band-aids. Let kids take turns flipping them over and telling what they learned about mercy, or maybe even why it's significant that Bartimaeus called Jesus the son of David. Number two, where does it hurt? Kids love trying to beat the teacher at a game, and this one's super easy. Remind the kids of how Jesus healed sick or hurting people. Tell them you're going to pretend like one of your arms or hands is hurt, but they won't know which one until the end of the game. You may need to write the answer down ahead of time and like put it in your pocket or something so that you can show it to them at the end and prove you didn't just make it up to help yourself win. <laughs> when they answer a Bible question, they get to guess which arm or hand is hurting and put a band-aid on it. I've discovered that it's actually quite a bit more pain-free to put the band-aids on your fingers or your hands instead of your arms, because arms tend to have a lot more hair, so at the end, whenever you rip these band-aids off, it tends to be a bit painful. But fingers, at least my fingers, don't have a whole lot of hair, so it doesn't hurt to take a band-aid off. If you happen to have super hairy fingers, you might want to pick a different game. But for me, this works well. Or you can put them on your arm, because the kids will probably think it's funny to watch you wince as you pull it off afterward. <laughs> But let the kids put band-aids on your hands or your arms and keep asking Bible questions to review your lesson. And then you can briefly remind the kids that Jesus sees and knows about all our hurts and pains. He doesn't have to guess. He cares and knows about all our problems and wants to help us trust him even when we hurt. Then reveal which arm or hand is the hurting one and count the band-aids. If most of the band-aids are on the hurting arm or hand, the kids win. But if most of the band-aids are on the healthy arm or hand, the teacher wins. Number three, band-aid points. If you write points on bandages, kids can flip them over one at a time and win points after they answer a Bible question. After each turn, flip them back over, mix them up, and play again. To make it even more suspenseful, you can also write zero on some of them and tell the kids they can keep flipping band-aids over one at a time to win more and more points for as long as they want. But they need to be careful because if they get a zero, their turn is over and they lose all the points they've just collected on that turn. Number four, memory verse band-aids. Just write silly actions like hop, stand on one leg, or clap behind your back on several band-aids. After teaching a Bible lesson about God helping someone who's sick or hurting, use these band-aids to review a verse or song. Have one child flip over a band-aid and then everyone follows the instructions on it by standing on one leg or clapping behind their back while they repeat the verse or song together. Kids will enjoy following the silly instructions on the back of the bandages while they say the verse or song over and over to help them memorize it. In between each turn, remind the kids of how God showed his love to someone who is sick or hurting in the Bible. Number five, no more pain. First, show them a Band-Aid and let them tell you what it is. Briefly talk about how Band-Aids can help protect cuts and scrapes while they heal and point out how God didn't need Band-Aids, medicine, or hospitals to help people like Naaman, the paralyzed man, or Jairus' daughter. He has complete power over disease and pain and someday he will get rid of them forever. There will be no more pain. Explain that God has lovingly provided band-aids, doctors, and medicine to help care for us right now. And that's a good thing. But someday, everyone who has believed in Jesus will never need these things again because God will get rid of all sin, pain, sickness, and even death forever and ever. That's way better than band-aids. Hide your hands behind your back and put the band-aid in one of them. Have kids take turns trying to guess which hand doesn't have the bandage. If they choose the hand with the bandage, they get 100 points because bandages, doctors, and medicine are beneficial things. But if they get the hand without the bandage, they get 500 points because God's future home, where we'll never need bandages, doctors, funerals, or medicine is way better. 
That's it. Five Band-Aid Bible Games for Kids. For more Bible game ideas, check out our free resource, 10 Quick and Easy Bible Games for Kids at kidsenjoyingjesus.com. Just click the link in the description for more info. What's your favorite Bible lesson about God helping someone who is suffering? The 10 lepers? The centurion's servant? Peter's mother-in-law? Tell me what you think in the comments below. And please take a second to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and check out our website, kidsenjoyingjesus.com. It's a totally pain-free process that will band aid you in finding more ideas to help you share the love and joy of Jesus with kids.